Welcome to our 55 minute total body strength. I'm Rebecca Gahan with Kick at 55 Fitness. Today you will need a pair of dumbbells for both upper and lower body, as well as an elevated platform. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you never miss a workout. Let's start the timer. We begin our warm up with burpees. So we're gonna plank it out, jump on up. Plank it out, feet jump to hands. Here we go. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. High knees. So today is all about strength, but we need to warm up the muscles before we start lifting weights. This is what that warm up's for. In 15 seconds, we go down for cross mountain climbers. 10 seconds. Get those knees up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. We're in a plank position, opposite knee to opposite elbow, bringing that knee underneath the opposite arm, but we're aiming for the elbow. That's a direction, warming up the core. In 10 seconds, you have two choices. You can laterally hop, or you can laterally hop over a dumbbell. Three, two, one. So I'm gonna take a dumbbell, that I have from the side, and I'm gonna laterally hop over it. But again, you can do this without the dumbbell. It's your choice. Whew. This just makes you jump a little bit higher because you're avoiding an obstacle. So, burn some more calories, increase that meta metabolic rate. Five, four, three, two, one. We have an order reversal. So now we're gonna go from the bottom to the top. Whew. Lateral hops. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbell to the side, hands directly underneath the shoulders, cross mountain climbers. Way to go. In 10 seconds, we stand up for high knees. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those knees to the pelvic bone. Whew. Okay, 15 seconds. We've got those burpees. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Jump up, plank it out, stand up. You've got it. Twenty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. And time, going through this one more time, from the top to the bottom, burpees, here we go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one, high knees. Whew. 
Get those knees up. Thinking about your quads, your hamstrings. We'll be lifting weights soon. We're going down for cross mountain climbers in 10 seconds. Five. Get down. Hands directly underneath your shoulders. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Contracting that core. We're getting every part of the body warmed up right now. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lateral hops over the dumbbell. Whew. Here we go. This is it. The final part of the warm up. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Warm up complete. Whew. Get some water if you need it. I need it. We're going into my favorite, maybe yours, not sure. Every minute on the minute. So I'm going to take two dumbbells. We're going to start off with alternating reverse lunges for one entire minute. We're going to rewind. Just kidding. Bring that knee back, shoulders back, chest out. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Actually, just kidding. We're going for a full minute. How quickly I forget. Twenty-five seconds. That's more like it. Twenty seconds. So we have four exercises. We'll do two sets here, right now one minute per exercise. The next one is two renegade rows, one push up, one whole minute. And done. So we get down, plank position. We row right, row left, push up. Row right, row left, push up. Okay, so think about your core contract it. Okay. We need to make sure that we have a strong core as we stay in this plank position for an entire minute, 30 seconds remaining. We row to the line of the back, push up 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. One and a quarter squats. So we stand with our feet positioned a little bit beyond hip distance. We squat all the way down. We come up a quarter, squat down and up. All the way down, up a quarter, squat down again and up. You're going to try and have your knees track over your ankles, sitting back into that squat. You've got it. Come on. Sit back into it. The last exercise we're adding on with is clean to press up. Okay. 15 seconds and then we go clean to press up. 10 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we hinge at the hips, hinge, knees are bent, press it up, back again, hinge at the hips, swing it to a hammer curl hold, press it up, swing, 
clean, knees bent, press it up. Swing it. 30 seconds here. We'll take about 10 seconds in between sets before we move on to the second set. That will give you a chance to put your dumbbells down. If you need a drink of water, 20 seconds to go. 15. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Put your dumbbells down. If you need some water, wiggle those fingers. Okay, round two. One minute, alternating reverse lunges. Shoulders back, chest out. Knee drops to the floor. You've got it. Shoulders back, chest out. Contracting that core. Over halfway. 20 seconds. 15. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. We go down now for two renegade rows with a push up. Here we go. We row, row, push up. Looking about a foot ahead, weight is on our toes, but also in the front, on the dumbbells, working the back. Working the core as we stabilize ourselves during this exercise. All right, over halfway on this one. Less than 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Standing up, one and a quarter squats. Feet are out a little bit beyond hip distance. We squat down, up a quarter, squat down, and up. Squat down, up a quarter, squat down, and up. You've got it. Sink all the way down. But the way that you sink down is sitting into that squat versus leaning over. This is not a hinge at the hips. This is a squat. So hinge at the hips looks like this. Squat looks like you're sitting down into a chair. 15 seconds. Then we go to clean and press. 10 seconds. Five. And done. Okay. We clean to press up. Clean it. Press up. So we hinge at the hips. We swing. Hammer curl hold. Clean it. Press up. You've got it. Halfway. Twenty seconds. Eight seconds. And last one, get some water. Also, if you have an elevated platform, now's the time to get it because we're gonna be using it for gorgeous split squats. If you don't have an elevated platform, 
we'll be doing just stationary lunges. So no worries. So right now, I have a 12 inch elevated platform I bring it to the center. We have a Tabata circuit. So we're gonna hold our dumbbells or you can hold one dumbbell just right at your chest. We're gonna take our left foot in front, right leg elevated on our toe, 20 seconds down and up. We have a two set Tabata per exercise. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. My left knee is traveling over my left toe as I descend. Let's get one more in. 10 second break. Hold your balance. Five, four, three, two, let's go. You've got it. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch legs. So now our left leg is elevated. Gorsha split squat. In four, three, two, and one. So my left leg is elevated. Right knee is traveling over the right toe. Core is tight. Shoulders back, chest out. In five, four, three, two, and one. One more. You've got it. Woo! Don't lose your balance. And go. Keeping you on your toes, literally. From here, we go into snatches. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. So I'm gonna put the pair of dumbbells down. I'm gonna grab one dumbbell. I'm gonna take the dumbbell in between my legs. I'm gonna hammer curl it up. As my arm is elevated, my knees are bent. Then I stand up. So overhead and stand up. Overhead, stand up. And time. Whew. Okay. Five, four, three, two, let's go. See how my knees are bending as my arm is fully extended overhead? And we're gonna switch. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. So it's a hammer curl all the way up, hammer curl hold, knees bend as I fully extend it overhead. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Put it down, take a break. We've got one more. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Ten seconds. Five. And time. Okay, last exercise is a chest press with a flutter kick. So we're gonna take our two dumbbells, we're gonna do a chest press, but we're also gonna kick our legs, flutter, contract our core, push our back into the ground, but simultaneously chest press. So engage the core, but also working that upper body. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, let's go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Put the weights to the side for a second. Get some water. We're moving on to a new circuit. Whew. Okay. So next up we have tricep dips. If you have this elevated platform, you're going to use it. If you don't, you'll just be doing tricep dips on the ground. We're going to go in a ladder, 10 reps of everything. We'll count together, then eight, six, four, two. Okay, four exercises. Here we go. 10 tricep dips. So my weight is on my heels. My fingertips are pointing towards my toes. 10 tricep dips. This is five. And 10. All right, 10 goblet squats. I am going to grab a heavier weight. If you want, you can hold two weights up your shoulder. I'm gonna hold one weight below my chin. My feet are positioned out. At 10 and two o'clock, I squat down. My elbows and my knees meet. This is seven, eight, nine, and 10. Next up, we have 10 jack push-ups. I'm gonna put my elevated platform a little to the side. So we're going down, you can either do whew, plank jack, push up, and that can also be on your knees, or you descend in that jack position. 10 total, this is three, Five, eight, nine, ten. Last exercise, ten alternating forward lunges. So we're going to step forward, right leg, left, ten total, shoulders back, chest out. That's four, six, seven, nine, and 10. You did it. Now we have a set of eight. We'll bring back that elevated platform, tricep dips. Eight total, one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight goblet squats. This is where I'm grabbing my heavier dumbbell. Bring it below my chin. Feet are turned out. Ten and two o'clock. This is three, five. And eight, eight jack push-ups. Here we go. Remember, these can also be plank jack push-ups. Eight, six, four, two, one. Okay, eight alternating forward lunges. Eight. Five. Three. And one. Six of everything. It's getting fun now. Here we go. Six, four, 
One. All right. Six goblet squats. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Six jack push ups. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one, and six alternating forward lunges. And done. All right, we're on the last two sets. Four. Here we go. Whew. Four tricep dips. Get nice and low. We're almost done. Six goblet squats. Or sorry, four. Okay. Four jack push-ups. One, two, whew, three, four, oh, four alternating forward lunges. Okay, two of everything. And then we move on. Okay, two, one, two, you've got it. I'll move it now. One, two, two jack push ups. And two alternating forward lunges, and then we move on. Way to go. Get some water. So, we're returning to circuit one every minute on the minute. We're gonna do two sets of this circuit, alternating reverse lunges for one entire minute. Shoulders back, chest out. Let's go. One minute, alternating reverse lunges. You've done it before, you're doing it again. Should be so familiar. Really focusing now on your form. Your body's like, I've been there, I've done that. I know what this feels like. Thirty seconds remaining. Get that knee back. From here, two renegade rows, one push up. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five. Let's get one more in. Okay, so we get down, two renegade rows, one push up. Row. Row, keep it steady. Whew. Row, row. Look ahead in that push up. Row, row. Contract that core. So many reminders. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And 
and done. Standing up now, one and a quarter squats. So we go all the way down, up a quarter, all the way down and up. Bring those hips back. Oh, you've got it. Looking at your knees, trying to have your knees sit right above your ankles when you're down in that squat. Remember, we're not hinging at the hips, we're squatting down. We're not bending over. 20 seconds, and then we'll add in the last exercise, clean the press up. 10 seconds. So we'll do the clean to press up. We'll take a quick break just so we can wiggle our fingers. If you're holding two dumbbells, maybe get some water. Okay, here we go. Hinge, clean, hammer curl, press it up. Ooh, hinge, clean, knees pop out, press it up. Hinge, clean, press it up. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. You've got this. It's all coming back to you now, right? Twenty seconds. We are going to do this one more time after this. So don't say goodbye yet. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, it's time you wipe off your sweat, get some water so you can fully commit to the next round. Okay, I'm committed. Let's go, reverse lunges. So I don't take enough of a break so that my heart rate fully decreases. I'm more so just getting some water, giving my fingers a chance to loosen up because we're holding these dumbbells, we're clasping them for four straight minutes. And honestly, this is the reason why if you've committed to working out at home, but you only have one set of dumbbells, it's time to get a kettlebell. It's time to get a barbell so that you're not constantly gripping the same pair of dumbbells the same way every time. Your forearm's gonna get tight. Your wrists are gonna start to hurt. Vary it. We do a lot of workouts with only dumbbells because we realize that that's what you have access to at home. But that doesn't mean you're limited to just dumbbells while completing this workout. We get down. This should feel good though. Now we're pulling. Whew. Row, row, push up. Row, row, push up. Nice job. Halfway. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Four, three, two. Let's get one more in. Ugh. Oh, feels good. Okay. One and a quarter. All the way down. Up a quarter. All the way down and up. Your body feeling shocked? It should. It almost feels like a little cardio would be a nice break, but you're not going to get that. It's all strength but in a hit format. 30 seconds. Then we go to those clean and press ups. Two, 
20 seconds. 15. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna clean to press up. Clean, hammer curl, press it up. You got it. Hinge, hammer curl, knees bend, pop it up. Little preview, we're going back to the two Tabata sets per exercise. Next, Gorsha split squats, snatches, chest press with flutter kicks. 30 seconds remaining here. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Way to go. Get some water. Get your elevated platform. We have gorgeous split squats. The right leg will be elevated as we hold the dumbbells at the side. And if you don't want to hold the dumbbells anymore, hold one dumbbell at your chest. Okay, so my right leg is elevated, left leg firmly planted. 20 seconds, we've started. So my left knee is traveling over my left toe. I'm feeling this in my left glute, left quad, We'll take a 10 second break in five, four, three, two, one. We've got a 10 second break here and then we go back again. Three, two, one. Right leg elevated, same leg. If you switch legs, that's okay. Then just for the next two sets, switch legs again. 10 seconds. Five, four, three. Oh, I feel this in my right glute, or my left glute. And done. Whew. Okay, now we elevate our left leg. Right leg firmly planted on the ground. Three, two, and one. So we have five exercises here. Two Tabata sets per exercise. We're on exercise number two. 10 seconds. Five, and break. 10 seconds, then we elevate that left leg again. Three, two, one. I'm feeling this in my right glute, my right quad. 10 seconds. Five. And done. Okay, get ready for snatches. I'm gonna move the platform away just so I have a little room. All right, so we're gonna take the dumbbell in our right hand. We squat down, kind of hinge at the hips, elevate it up. But now, when it's fully extended, knees bent, then stand up. Extend, pop up. Extend, pop up. Extend, pop up. Three, two, one. We're gonna stick with the same arm. Three, two, one. Let's go. Three, two, one. Switch arms. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, 
hit it. Remember, your knees are bent when that arm is fully extended. So you get a little power from your legs. Done. One more here. Then we go to chest press with a flutter kick. Five, four, three, two, and one. Over halfway, seven seconds, three, two, let's get one more in, one, nice job. We're going down now, chest press, flutter kicks. So let's just take a pause and think about the dynamics of this. Our lower back is firmly pressed into the ground. We're going to flutter kick, but then we're also going to chest press at the same time. All right. Let's go. Firmly plant that back into the ground, contracting the core. If you cannot multitask, only do the flutter kicks. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more. Five, four, three, two, Let's go. Ten seconds, then we'll get some water. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, get some water. So unlike the last two circuits, we're not returning to the same exercises. We're going to switch it up. So we're going to start with 10 tricep kickbacks. So we have four new exercises, but it's going to be the same pattern. So this time we're going to hinge at the hips, elbows locked in place, 10 tricep kickbacks, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Next up, sumo squats. You can either have your dumbbells up here like this or one dumbbell that you hold below your chin. I'll let you decide. So my feet are at nine and three o'clock. Two, three, you've got it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Next up, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, 10 total. Every time you do an elbow, elbow, hand, hand, that's one. So we're in plank position. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Finally, ten alternating curtsy squats. So stand with your feet a little bit beyond hip distance apart. We're going to curtsy. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Let's start again, but we reduce that number to eight. Eight tricep kickbacks. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Okay, sumo squats. Again, you can decide if you want a single dumbbell or both dumbbells up at your shoulders. Here we go. Eight. Six. Pull those hips back. Five. 
four, three, two, and one. Eight, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. And then eight alternating curtsy squats. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finally, eight alternating curtsy squats. Then we go down to six, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Six tricep kickbacks. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Sumo squats. Six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whew. Six alternating curtsy squats. When you're done, we go to the lucky number four. I have two more. Okay. Four tricep kickbacks. One, two, three, four. Four sumo squats. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. One, two, three, four, four alternating curtsy squats. All right, we're getting to our last exercise or last set. Okay, tricep kickbacks. Let's go. One, two. That's it. <laughs> two sumo squats. One, two, and ooh, two elbow, elbow, hand, hand. And two alternating curtsy squats. One, two, way to go. All right. We are now going through every exercise today one last time. Whew. Lots of sets, lots of leaning out, alternating reverse lunges. You've got this. In 10 seconds, we go down for Renegade Rose with a push up. Everything's time, do not worry. Four, three, two, and one. Two renegade rows, one push up. This will take us to the end of class. Row, row, push up, look ahead. Row, row, push up. Row, row, push up, get one more in. Row, row, push up, okay. Standing up, one and a quarter squats. Then we'll go to clean and press. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Clean to press up. So we hinge, we clean, we press up. Hinge, clean, press up. Let's get three more in. It's about 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Gorgeous split squats. Okay, right leg elevated. We'll start there. Down and up. Eight seconds, we switch to the left. Five, four, three, two, one. Switching to the left. Remember from here, we have those snatches. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Put one dumbbell down, right arm snatches. We squat, knees bent as we elevate that all the way up. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. From here, chest press with the flutter kicks. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Even though we're moving quickly, Please do not forget the components of this. Pressing your back into the floor, contracting that core. We're gonna go straight to tricep dips from here in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, tricep dips. Here we go. Goblet squats are next in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, standing up. I'm gonna take a single heavy weight below my chin. Feet are at 10 and two o'clock. Goblet squat. In five, four, Three, two, and one. Jack push-ups. So I'm gonna move this away. You can either plank jack, push up, or just jack it down. And time. Alternating forward lunges. Okay. When we start again, final circuit of the day. Remember, tricep kickbacks, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Tricep kickbacks. Ten seconds, then we go to sumo squats. In five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells up. Feet are turned out nine and three o'clock. You guys have done an outstanding job today. We just have a little bit more to go, and we are done. Three. Two, one, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. So we're gonna end today with alternating curtsy squats. This is where we will cross the finish line in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Oh.
This is it. 10 seconds. I'm going to get one more in and done. Way to go. Thank you for joining us today. In honor of the new year, we're hosting a contest. It's called the New Year, New Me 90 Day Challenge. We're going to help you stay consistent with your workouts and achieve your dream body goals in the new year. Check out our description below and join our New Year, New Me Facebook group page. You'll also learn how to register for the contest. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know when our next workout posts.